everyone, I'm Jonas. And I'm Lewis. And welcome to Jail Pokemon. And welcome back to a brand new episode of Cards of the Week. That is right. We have a very awesome video planned for you guys, but before we get into that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Ring the bell. Make sure to ring the bell so you get notified when new videos get dropped. Also, make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Jail PKMN. So you get notified when new. What? No, so you get behind the scenes stuff and just stuff we're doing around, so that's very awesome. And we're almost up to 140 followers on our Instagram, so that's, that's very crazy. awesome. Very awesome. Thanks for the support on that. That's more than double our YouTube channel. So if you're here checking out from Instagram, please subscribe. I'm only allowed to say the first three words of that or else we're gonna get copyright claim. Um, and that's pretty much all uh, there is for the intro. Uh, well, what about we do the coin flip? Yep, and I'm flipping. So yeah, here we go. I'm heads, Lewis is tails. Here we go. It's tails. Uh, no, it's heads. Actually, it's heads. I'm, I'm just kidding. It's heads. Well, looks like I'm going first. Um, uh, catch you guys in a second. Yep. All right, guys. My Pokemon for cards of the week is Guru. Oranguru. Guru. Guru. Um, no, that's not the right. Brr. That's not the right cry. It's like brr, brr, brr. in the show. It's <laughs> I just I said Bowers cry by accident. That's what Bowers sounds like. So uh, that's all right because it did make its debut in the one and only Sun and Moon base set as a Hollow, which is very interesting. It also uh, was one of the uh, four. Uh, pre-release promo, so that's very awesome. We're probably gonna have lovely picture of the right Lovely. Here. And uh, that had a very awesome ability called Instruct, which said that once during your turn, you may draw cards, so you have three in your hand, which is very similar to Krikatoon V that recently came out in Battle Style. So, uh, except Battle, of course, the Krikatoon V in Battle Style is gonna draw you to four cards if you're in the active, which is very good. It also had an attack called Psychic, which did 60 damage plus either I think it was 20 more for each energy on your opponent's active Pokemon. So uh, that's pretty good. Probably nice one of the best gurus there is. Probably one of the best. Um, have weakness to fighting, which was a big deal because of things like um, Buzzwool around in that format. Nowadays, it's. We don't need to worry about the Instructor Ranguru because... I know, I'm talking about the newer Ranguru. Okay. The other one. What's and it was pretty awesome, pretty cool. Seen it in a lot of decks. More notably, someone that I know used it a lot was uh, Dark Integral Gaming. And oh, he's a yeah. very interesting YouTuber and he loves... Doesn't really... He loves using Oranguru from... He loved using Oranguru from Sun Moon Base Set. He called it Banana Master. So uh, that is very uh, awesome and cool. Banana Master. So the next Oranguru came out in Ultra Prism, which is very a very notorious um, Oranguru actually because it had an amazing attack. I forget what its name was now. It's like right at the tip of my tongue. But what it said is that you could put three cards from your discard pile on the bottom of your deck, which is absolutely insane because you could basically have an endless deck with that. So you would put three cards at the bottom, three cards at the bottom, three cards at the bottom, and it was really useful in stall decks and different things like more notably Articuno stall, which uh, yeah, well it wasn't really called Articuno. I stall. played Articuno a long time ago, but I did not have that Guru because it was not in that format. Yes, it was. It was Ultra Prism. Well, I didn't have that. And we did. We have a playset of them. Really? Yes. Well, I never used them. And uh, so that's a very awesome Oranguru, and it was used a lot, but sadly it did get banned because of how broken it was in the standard format, so that is kind of insane. Mm -hmm. And I, it, the, the name of the stall deck is called, uh, what is it? Bird stall or something. <laughs> I don't know. Bird Guru? Pidgeotto and stuff. So uh, that's pretty awesome, and it's been used so much uh, because of that amazing attack, which is called resource management. There we go. I knew it'd come to me. And uh, for one energy, just putting energies on the bottom, uh, putting cards from the, your discard pile on the bottom of your deck is absolutely insane. Uh, so the uh, next Oranguru, I forget what set it's from now. It's from a weird set. It's either from Forbidden Light or Lost Thunder. So it's either from one of those two. And what it did is that it was the psychic type. It was pretty, pretty miserable actually. It was pretty horrible. Didn't really see much play. But you know, it's yeah. an Oranguru, and it came I out. I say the best gurus out there are probably the Primate Wisdom, mm -hmm. well, we're the one from Ultra Prism, mm -hmm. and the, the uh, Instruct. Yeah, the Instruct. 
And uh, next, this, speaking of Primate Wisdom, the next Oranguru that came out was the Primate Wisdom Oranguru from the Sword and Shield base set, which is very awesome and is seen in a and lot of like, standard decks. It's probably really good in Colossal. Yeah, that energy awesome. thing that allows you to like yep. switch your top card with a card from your hand. Yep, and then some decks run it as well for different reasons, and mostly so you can get that extra card off the top of your deck. And Primate Wisdom does read, once in your turn, you may switch a card from your hand with a card on top of your deck, so that is very awesome. It just allows you to get one extra card that you might need, get rid of a bad one that you don't need, mm -hmm. and it's just super awesome. 120 HP, uh, 3 energy, WAP down for 70, weakness to fighting, and 2 Retreat cost, and uh, it's a very awesome card, very versatile, seen it a lot. And the final Oranguru is the Oranguru from Vivid Voltage, which is actually a uh, secret rare reprint of the uh, Sword and Shield uh, Oranguru, which is very awesome. It's his awesome shiny form, so it is pink. The pink Oranguru looks uh, super awesome. We're probably gonna have a picture right here, and uh, super awesome. Obviously, same attacks, same abilities, same everything. So uh, yeah, that's all the Oranguru. It's a very fairly recent Pokemon, but almost all of its uh, releases have been super good and have been. Played in a lot of decks, except for that one psychic type one. There might be another psychic type one out there. Probably. Not sure, but uh, is there a GX or no, V or anything? No. They should get a V. Overall, it's it's psychic type versions are pretty bad, but it's uh, um, colorless versions are really good. So that's it for Ranguru. Let's get into Jonas's Pokemon. Catch you guys in a second. All right, guys. My card for this week's cards of the week and why I chose it is. Luca Metal, also known as Lucario Mel Metal. Also known as GX. Luke Metal. Not Luke, Luke Metal. Oh, not Luke Metal. Metal. I'm calling it Luca Metal because it's. Uh, I yeah. feel like it sounds very right. awesome. So, Luca Metal is a tag team with 260 HP. Actually, has, fairly low for. Yeah, for a tag team, yeah. For a tag team. Most, one, most of them have 270. 270, 280. 300. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Pika Ron, Ron well, and uh, Mimikyu Gengar have. Three, two, 240 and 250, so. Really? But, but, Waylord has 300. Yeah. And Highest, um, uh, yeah, Waylord and yeah. So, its first tap is Steel Fist, 450, and two colorless. Colorless. Search your deck for a fighting type energy, uh, a metal type energy, and attach it to this Pokemon. Then shuffle your deck afterward. Afterward. So its next attack is Heavy Impact for 150 damage, 2 Metal Energy, and 2 Colorless. It's alright, I mean it can get 150 damage off, no uh, downfalls, and uh, it can 2 shot most tag teams, so it's pretty okay, pretty mediocre. Yeah. Now, its GX attack is Full Metal Wall, but our dad plays this deck, and for some reason, Kind of like Lucas, Luki's polka doll, or uh, also known as Lily's polka doll, mm -hmm. as the card is Luki's po Lily's polka doll. But then my dad calls it, our dad calls it Luki's polka doll, along with yep. Luka Metal is no Full Metal Wall is Full Metal Jacket. Yeah, it's hilarious. And that attack for one colorless energy is super awesome because yep. it can reduce the damage mm -hmm. done to your Pokemon. And if it has an, if it has a. One extra energy attached to it, it also increases your damage by 30. No, it doesn't. I'm pretty sure it does. No, it discards all energy off your opponent's active Never mind. Pokemon. I thought... I thought... <laughs> that bad. you're messing this up with ADP. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, I'm messing this up with ADP. Yep, Alter yeah. Creation, the most broken GX stack in the entire game. Should get banned. Should get banned, yeah. Yes. It's I feel like broken. it should I'm be banned. I'm kind of surprised it hasn't been. Yeah, I'm surprised. But I said I think once it get ro gets rotated. Yeah, yeah, it's going to get banned and expanded. Whatever. So, uh, yeah, that's all the attacks on Lucario Metal. It is used in the uh, Lucario Metal Zacian, which... Um, Zacian. It doesn't matter. Um, which has been used a lot. I, I think it's first uh, came up in the Players Cup 1 with uh, a couple of people running uh, uh, this deck, which is very awesome with Zashin V and uh, Lucario Malmo, which allows you to do uh, your opponent to do 30 less damage to you. And uh, it's just super amazing and awesome because you can get 230 damage off, but your opponent may only be getting, like I forgot to mention, along with Metal Goggles, that's minus 60 damage done to yeah. your Metal Pokemon. So that's also, I forgot to say why I chose this card for this week's Cards of the Week. The reason why I chose it is because my friend earlier, my friend was over, and we were outside all day. We played Magic, and then we played a lot of Pokemon. And since he didn't bring his deck, 
because he didn't bring it to, our, to school because we came right after, right here after school. So he, I gave him my dad's Luca medal deck, which is the funniest thing ever. And he lost. Be no, I lost. Yeah, so I lost 2-0. But anyways, th that's not the that's not the point. Is that <laughs> it wasn't even Luca medal. We couldn't find the Lucario Melmo, so it was a 59 Lucario Metal deck without Lucario Melmo. It was just Zacian and Zamazenta. Yeah, so it's basically just Zacian and Zamazenta. And we still can't find that. Basically card. just a mega turbozation. Yeah. yeah okay. No, a defensive turbozation. Yeah. Also, guys, this card is also used with the card Tag Call, which allows you to search your deck for up to two um, tag, tag team teams, cards. which in the deck of Luca Metal, you use. Um, uh, Mallow and Lana, which, as our father which calls allows it. you to heal yep. 120 damage from your active Pokemon, which is even better. That's absolutely insane. So you can heal damage and you can take reduced damage. It's absolutely insane because it's and really hard. Also, Cynthia and Caitlyn in the deck along with Luca Metal. Yeah. So it's Luca Metal, Cynthia and Caitlyn. Zashi and, and Zamazenta. Zashi and Zamazenta, weird, wacky Mellow thing. And Lana and Lily's Pokedol also, so you could you could <laughs> heal your Pokedol. You mean you could heal your damage off of Z uh, Zashian, uh, bring up a Lily's Pokedol, Lily's. use its ability, put it on the bottom of your deck, and then bring up Zashian again and be fresh with another 230 and a heal to 120, which is absolutely yeah. insane. So yeah, that's pretty much. And all it's also used in a couple stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. It's just a overall, a, it's a little bit worse than a Zacian, as a, uh, an Artigius Dialga Pilkia, also known as ADP. All right, let's get straight into the outro of this video. Catch you guys in a second. Thank you guys so much for watching. We 100% enjoyed making it, so we hope you guys enjoyed watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Ring the bell. <laughs> also, make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at... Yeah, yeah. Underscore. So you get some behind the scenes stuff and just stuff we're doing. I'm not sure you understood that, but yeah. And uh, also, um, make sure to check out last week's video. We opened uh, some pretty awesome four, uh, make, four three pack boosters. Yeah. Make sure to stay tuned for this week's video. We have another epic video. Here's all the pulls we got. I'm not gonna show you the backs of them, the fronts of them. Sorry. So you have to watch so, the video to find out. Here's the here's the awesome pulls that we got. So uh, yeah, look Plus, at us. Awesome. A lot of cards. A lot of cards. Also, the promos, which I'm not going to show you. Also, one of the code cards we put on our Instagram page. Which is already taken, so... It is? Yes. Sure. So, we hope that, we, that, we, that you guys got it in time. So, and whoever got it, congratulations to you. And if you did, drop a comment down below. It'd be... I don't know. It'd just be cool yeah. if you got it. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure to check out last week's, this week's, Cards of the Week, all that stuff, all that jazz. And we will catch you guys in the next one. See you later. Bye. -bye.